in 1998, 4x4 Australia, along with TJM, did a cross-country marathon drive from Steep Point in the west to Byron Bay in the east, the longest span across the centre of the country. And one of the vehicles they used was a 105 series cruiser. Now to celebrate 50 years of TJM products, TJM have recreated that 105 series Land Cruiser, sitting right behind me here at the Brisbane 4x4 show. With me is Darren Piper from TJM. Darren, mate, fantastic job you guys have done on this car. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a, um, and it, it's one thing that we, uh, we've probably done a little bit better. We've jazzed this one up even more than when it did the crossing in 1998. Definitely, mate. Looking at it now, it looks like the same old school look about it, but it's got a lot of modern day touches to it. All the some luxury features in there and some newer engine, all that sort of stuff. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, we went to town on our protection equipment and, and all those additions that we've done over the last three to five years with our product is now sitting in the product that you see here in front of us. Yep. And uh, yeah, you're right. Under the bonnet here is the, the engine that everybody wanted that Toyota never did in a live axle car. That's it, the, the 1HDT FTE in a 105 series. Absolutely, yeah. The, the yeah. perfect Land Cruiser. Yeah, exactly. So we started with a 105 chassis, Sahara body. So we've got things like a sunroof in there. We've got electric seats, you know, which are all factory stuff. Yeah. But we've recovered them in leather and, and, and really gone to town on them. Yeah, cool. Now, you've obviously loaded up with all your products. Let's start from the front here and tell us, work our way back. Yeah, so starting off with our, you know, the product that really stands out for, for everybody when they talk about TJM, and that's our Outback Bull Bar. Featured with uh, rated, uh, rated recovery points, um, winch facilities, aerial tabs, you know, spotlights and so forth. And then we went down the side of the vehicle, we did our, our side rails and steps. What we did with this product is that we, we added those additions like our larger tube size, our rolled Kato, all those yeah. things that we need now for ADR. Yes. You know, for uh, for making sure that the product is specific to the uh, to the market okay. now. Obviously, you a torque winch in there. Yeah, yeah, 12,000 pound torque winch. Yep. Um, some of our new Seeker work lights in here for off-roading. Mm -hmm. um, these are our new four-in-one lights that we, we featured in the uh, 300 series, oh, yes. which we had to do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got indicators, park lights, DRLs, and fog lights all in one. Wow, incredible. Yeah. And the Ultima Mark IIs. Yeah. And Ultima light bars on top as well. Yeah, so you'll you'll see some really uh, unique new product on the on the market, and and that's the the Mark IIs have been out for a little while now. Yeah but it's the LED light bars that are very new for us. Yeah. And they're saying, I haven't had the opportunity yet, but they're saying that, you know, one of those light bars are as good as, you know, a set of these lights. Yeah. So Fantastic. that's that's a big uh, step yeah, in uh, technology. Definitely is. And that's what's changed a lot in those years since the 105 came out, the technology on vehicles has changed. You've updated a lot of things in this car yeah. to reflect that stuff. When I look down the back and you see all the things are linked up in there, the 12 volt systems and batteries, yeah, lithium batteries. So yeah, there's yeah, so much yeah. technology in Yeah, the look, in the back of the car, we've got some of our new prototype stuff, you know, yep. with our new charging system, which now does uh, cater for lithium batteries. We've mm -hmm. got our new uh, Revolution and TJM uh, slimline battery in the back of it. Yep. You know, Dometic have come to the party with our fridge, which is our typical uh, fridge of choice. Yep. Uh, and then companies like Clearview, MSA, um, those sorts of companies that have jumped on board and, and supported us through the process as well. DP chip, you know, so it's, it might be one of the best engines, but yeah. we've souped it up with a, with a DP chip in it as well and a performance pedal. Yeah. Suspension <laughs> is one of the critical parts of our business outside of the bull bars. Yeah. And um, yeah, what we've done is grabbed our remote systems, yeah. our new XGS remote systems <laughs> all through this car. So, you know, you get adjustability for compression and rebound. You really get to fine tune that. Some of the other things that I really noticed on it too was a bright red car with gold highlights on it. Looks different. I think the early 80s when all our TJM cars were always red. So we sort of went back a little bit and yeah. in 1989 we yeah. built a uh, Land Cruiser 80 series which was called Big Red in those days. Mm -hmm. Everything was red on the car, the car, the, the, yep. the, bull, the bull bar, everything was red. So we thought let's re recreate that but let's recreate it with a vehicle that we feel that suits our 50 year anniversary. Love the retro graphics you've put on the car itself, but also the little 50th anniversary graphics and indents and stuff. It's yeah. Real nice touches right yeah. throughout the vehicle. On the headrest as well, I know, it's the leather trim. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Look, we've had, we've had a team of guys in engineering and in our workshop, kind of like an open checkbook. Do whatever you want, let's, let's make this thing stand out. It feels like a brand new car. Yeah. It really does. It. 